Hello, you wonderful people. And welcome to another episode of Nerd Mode. This being a show where I introduce you to a series that you may or may not be familiar with. For today's episode, I'm gonna talk about the CW original series, Nancy Drew. Like always, this internet review is just me talking about a series that I really like that I recommend you check out for yourself. Nancy Drew is a mystery supernatural crime drama that takes place in Horseshoe Bay and follows Nancy Drew, a teen detective, or more rather, a former teen detective. I'll explain more later. When a socialite named Tiffany is murdered, Nancy will find herself in the middle of the investigation, both as an investigator as well as potential suspect. To solve the mystery surrounding this case, Nancy will have to work alongside her friends slash fellow suspects, Nick, George, Bess, and Ace. Nancy will soon learn that Tiffany's murder is just the tip of the iceberg, that it actually has connections to a woman named Lucy Sable who had died about 20 years prior. She's a bit of a ghost story in the town. In a town full of secrets and suspects, Nancy will have to be careful who she trusts as she quickly learns that some of the people closest to her might just have the biggest secrets of all. What I think is a really interesting aspect about this series is that it isn't an origin story. In this continuity, Nancy has already done the whole teen detective thing, so this isn't her first case. In fact, if you recall what I said earlier, she's actually a former teen detective because Nancy had actually stopped working and solving cases. And one of the main reasons behind that is her mom passing away. It had a major effect on her, not just in this regard, but a few others as well. Which that in itself actually ties into a very interesting aspect about Nancy, and that is that she has a very hard time opening up to people. She has a tendency to push them away. That aspect also applies to her detective work as she's so used to handling things on her own, she prefers to work alone never telling people what she's really up to or even what's on her mind. She just has this really bad habit of shouldering a lot of stuff on her own, but that's an interesting aspect about her growth of character over the course of the series as she learns to open up more to people, trust in other people, including her friends. Another interesting thing about this series is something I actually brought up earlier, and that being that this show has a supernatural angle to it. Initially, I was under the impression that the supernatural side of the show would only be a small part, but when you start watching the show, you come to realize how much of a massive massive part of the series it actually is. A big part of this case is actually Nancy getting help from the ghost of Lucy Sable, the woman I mentioned earlier who has a connection to Tiffany's murder. But it isn't just Nancy that gets caught up or rather haunted by all this supernatural stuff. Eventually, everyone around her kind of starts getting dragged into it as well. And it's not just Lucy. As the series has progressed, other supernatural forces have been revealed. In total, the supernatural side of things adds this very like spooky and eerie vibe to the show. Obviously, one of the angles this show shines very brightly at is the investigation. It's a very good whodunit with a lot of neat twists and turns. The series is very good on how and when it decides to reveal certain information to you, both to create those twists and turns within the plot, but also to create a lot of red herrings. You'll think that you have everything figured out, but then the series will flip the script on you. It's a very compelling mystery that will constantly surprise you. Nancy Drew is based on a series of novels that follow said title character. Season 2 of Nancy Drew premieres on January 20th. Really, that's all I want to talk about. To the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, love life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.